perfect. Some awesome products. Thank you guys so much. Now we're headed over to Local Bar and Grill. It's a restaurant here in Lubbock, and it goes to a bar at night, and they have a new menu you got to see. Local Bar and Grill, we've been in business since 2013. Um, I've actually worked on this block for 22 years. Um, uh, when we opened local, we wanted to have a place that carried a lot of local products, a lot of local spirits, a lot of local beers. Um, so that's kind of what we went off of. Uh, there's not much that Texans love more than Texas, so we really try to let local be Texas on Broadway. COVID was hard for everybody, but uh, we're glad we live in Texas and we're uh, back open. And uh, what we did during the time was revamp our menu, uh, hire some new people, put in uh, garage doors out front for uh, some open air, and uh, we're doing like classic cocktail happy hour and just an elevated food menu now. The community has been amazing. Uh, I think one good thing that came out of COVID is that people really realized how important it is to shop local, and the community has really come out in droves and supported us. and been there throughout the whole plight of COVID and uh, we love Lubbock. Uh, my wife and I are tech grads and uh, have been here for, uh, I've been here for 20 years. She was born and raised in Lubbock. Um, we're just happy to be a part of the Broadway area and uh, we feel very fortunate. Whenever I came on we had some pretty good options but the menu had kind of stagnated so we decided to bring in some new things that are mostly made in-house. We have um, our new versions of things that we had previously. We have a bunch of new sandwiches. The handhelds have been very popular. And we do brunch specials every week on Saturday. Uh, two new specials every week. My favorite option that we have here is our uh, pulled pork sandwich. It's uh, kind of spicy, it has a little avocado on it, and um, every weekend we do our two brunch specials and those are always really fun because we get to change it up depending on uh, the season and what's available for us to get locally. Our hours are 4 p.m. on Mondays till 10 p.m., 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday. Saturday mornings, we have brunch available until four. We we'll always have our local Rita and our Texas tea, and what we're trying to do is during the daytime is reach out to the, you know, classic cocktail fans and offer a couple different things more on the higher end, just to get some of the business people nearby to come in for lunch and try them. We do a happy hour on classic cocktails from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, and it's two dollars off for an old-fashioned. Um, keeping the price range where it's available. No, we're not going to charge you $16 for a Negroni. We're going to charge you probably around 10 if not less. Um, and, you know, the atmosphere is, here is great. The garage door really helps a lot. And just exposing some of the um, local residents to really good food and really good cocktails. This is a Dripping Springs uh, martini. Um, I, we do like to use, like Michael said earlier, local products, Texas made. Uh, this is a Negroni, which is a Campari gin and sweet vermouth. One of my favorites. This is a uh, Manhattan made with still Austin bourbon. Um, and then our old fashioned made with uh, bullet rye. Um, easy drinking, sippers, really good, well made. And yeah, we just, I love doing it. She loves cooking, so we make a good team. Everything was so delicious. You'll have to check them out either for lunch or dinner. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Trends and Friends.